Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Cancer, you are up, so this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you're a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Cancer in their chart, this is for you too, or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Cancer in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Cancer in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment, as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign, as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Keep in mind in all my videos, I always have a timestamp in the comment section of the video that is pinned. So if you don't ever want to listen to me talk and want to go directly to the reading, there is always a timestamp at the bottom of the comments of every one of my videos, okay? Um, just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, my readings are only $25 each and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. And you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com. I also do emergency readings which are done within 24 to 48 hours from the time that I receive your payment and those are $50 each. Um, if you didn't get my email address, it would also be listed in the description box as well as the about me of my channel. Um, so happy new year to you, Cancers. I hope everybody is doing good. Um, a lot of different things that's going to be taking place in 2009 as far as your DNA activations, your transformation, you allowing yourself to change as well as grow. Um, it is right now Aquarius season. So Aquarius season is about renewing. This is about you finding your sense of purpose as well as yourself just go through your self-discovery phase as far, far as healing yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally allowing yourself to open up to new things you know new perspectives um you know new beginnings um so again uh we just had what the full moon in aquarius um so if i'm right full moon or new moon in aquarius so we're also dealing with that energy as well as the energy as far as the eclipse energy that's still going on um keep in mind that mercury retrograde will be taking place in march so again some people are already in that energy as for me i am already in my energy as far as my gemini and libra energy for uh, mercury retrograde um so let's go ahead and get started the cards have already been shuffled again um i state in my videos that uh the main deck that i use for you i will be shuffling those um going forward okay um all the other cards have already been shuffled um if you're interested in purchasing any of these cards that i use in my readings um you can go to the description box of the video and they will all be listed there also, if you're wanting to get your, your birth chart, um, it's also listed in the description box of the video as well. Of course, I have my music in the background. Okay, so... Again, let's go ahead and get started. And this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury.
Okay, I'm going to shuffle it three more times. And the next time what's over at the bottom of the deck is what I'm going to take as your overall, some part of your energy. Okay, so we have the chariot reversed. And wow, this is you. So I am going to pull this card out. Um, so with the chariot being reversed, as far as y'all cancer, that's letting me know that some of y'all are going through some difficulties um, as far as changing. Um, there can be some setbacks as far as what you're experiencing in a certain situation as far as you moving forward. This can be moving forward in a relationship, a job, moving forward as far as changing yourself as well and you having setback is that in that. Um, this is also letting me know that y'all, a lot of y'all are stressing at this point. And if it's not you cancers, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Some of you possibly are also dealing with a twin flame relationship. And that's what I'm going to go off and say in the back, um, at the beginning of this for this card to come out, um, reverse. So some of y'all are in a situation as far as dealing with the twin flame. Um, but I feel that some of y'all are feeling rushed in a certain situation. So let's go ahead and see what's going on why are you feeling rushed or what's going on okay so yeah um we have the ace of wands and when the ace of wands is reversed again delays this is about somebody also making the wrong direction making the wrong decision um this is also letting me know that a lot of you cancers are feeling very unmotivated at this time so some of y'all possibly could be dealing with the fire sign or you possibly could have fire in your chart. Um, cancers, this is another thing too as far as yourself. So I feel that a lot of y'all are lacking confidence within yourself. You're lacking that ambition, um, that ambition, you know, that drive as far as you being ambitious. Um, so they're saying for you, need, you're needing to gain your strength. A lot of y'all right now are not moving forward in a certain situation. This could be a fire sign, could be um, not moving forward in a certain situation as far as a relationship because we have the Ten of Swords being reversed. And when this is being reversed, I do see that some of y'all are recovering. So let's say if this is more of past energy as far as you lacking confidence within yourself, you know, you going through certain setbacks that was keeping you, you know, dealing with setbacks that was keeping you, you know, your normal self as far as you being ambitious, as far as you being headstrong, being motivated, you know, being daring. I'm seeing a lot of y'all possibly were get dealing with self-esteem issues and that was keeping you stuck in a certain situation. I feel that some of y'all are recovering because when the Ten of Swords comes out and this is reversed, um, this is better when it, it when it's upright. But then again, some of y'all were in the past, you know, feeling like you were going through, you know, dealing with betrayal. A lot of y'all were dealing with pain, you know, envy, um, loss of certain situations, um, you know, feeling like you were backstabbed. Some of y'all are also still dealing with certain situations as far as karmic relationships. And I feel that some of y'all are realizing that you're in a karmic relationship and you're not wanting to move forward. And this is the reason why it's coming out um, as far as difficulty. Somebody making, feeling like they, they made the wrong choice, made the wrong decision as far as a relationship is what I'm hearing from this, okay? So, but I feel that some of y'all are recovering from a certain situation as far as mental conflict. There's a lot of sword energy here um, as far as, the, the you know, your, per, your present, your current feelings and your past. Um, so we also have the seven of swords here. Um, when the seven of swords is reversed, this is about, again, sadness. This is about changing, change of plans. So I feel a lot of y'all are, you know, put in a situation as far, let's say if this is a relationship that has been overall burdening to you and this person betrayed you, or it was more of, you know, a karmic relationship where this person was not wanting to change. They were not wanting to, you know, you know, start a, a brand new cycle, a, a brand new beginning, um, I feel that um, some of y'all are trying to make a decision as far as releasing yourself from that is what I'm hearing from this. Because when the sin the seven of swords is um, reversed, this is also, you know, you trying to re regain your confidence, you trying to regain your self-esteem. This is also when it's reversed is learning how to trust again. So again, if this was some betrayal that was in the past that was keeping you stuck and caused you to lose, you know, confidence within yourself as well as deal with insecurities, um, I feel that y'all, a lot of y'all, had a lot of mental conflict and it was just keeping you going in the same cycles um we have the ten of wands here and when the ten of wands is reversed again um you feeling defeated um again i feel that a lot of y'all are feeling rushed in a certain situation um this is also letting me know that a lot of y'all are dealing with somebody that's very uncompromising um there could also be slander that's going back and forth as far as he say she say stuff that you can be involved in cancer or this could be the person that you're dealing with 
Um, I feel that if you are dealing with the fire sign, there is right now verbal um, uh, conflict as far as y'all's communication. There could be, you know, verbal, um, you know, tempers uh, flaring up is what I'm hearing, or as well as harsh words. I feel that somebody is being feeling like that somebody deceived them because when the seven of swords comes out and it's upright, this is about somebody being, you know, betrayed. This is about somebody having some type of hidden motives. So I feel that a lot of y'all are dealing with a situation as far as somebody, you know, just pretty much playing some type of overall trickery on you. Um, the next card that we have is the highest priestess reverse. And when the highest priestess reverse, again, manipulation, this is about a secretive energy as well. So there could be some secrets as far as, like I was saying, gossip that's going on, or there could be some things that is just have not hit the surface yet. And you're unsure. Um, you haven't, I feel that some of y'all are, um, going to be hearing some information about either you cross watch your cancer or can uh, you know vice versa um cancers about the person that you're dealing with especially if this is somebody that's a fire sign i feel that this fire sign has been more um you know malicious that i feel that they've been um, uh, manipulative as far as you know being overall secretive um there could be some secrets that still have not been you know display to you is what I'm hearing from this but I do feel that somebody is trying to you know to control the overall situation um again this is gossip as far as it being reversed as well as the side chick card so I feel that there's a lot of jealousy that's going on um this is the uh the water card so again this is you cancer possibly could be you um so can't or another water sign which is cancer pisces as well as scorpio um is what we have here um so we have the chariot we have the highest priestess and we have the eight of the ace of wands which again is aries uh aries leo as well as sagittarius okay okay so let's say if this is somebody that's coming back from your past um this person sees you as uh, a counterpart even though we have we have the ace we have the ace we have the queen of cups upright and then we have the king of cups reversed um but again this is about you know delays and the way that i'm seeing that this could possibly be a twin flame reading um, the, as far as somebody that's coming back from your past, um, this could be a twin flame. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's crazy because the chariot card set here and I said earlier that it was a twin flame relationship. Um, some of y'all were dealing with a twin flame relationship as far as let's say if this person was manipulating situation or if they had hidden motives, um, could have caught, kept you feeling like this person betrayed you. Um, there was no movement as far as the relationship between you and this person. Um, a lot of delays, a lot of major setbacks. Um, I'm seeing that this person is wanting to come back and invest in the relationship. I feel that this person possibly was also going through conflict, uh, going possibly going through the dark night of the soul, or they were going through their own some type of awakening, which was causing this person to have also conflicts as far as within the, themselves. But when the um, the Queen of Cups comes out, this is about somebody that's caring. This person sees you as very caring. They see you very nurturing. Um, they see you as somebody that's very charming. Um, you have they they have a big heart. Our Cancer, you have a big heart, is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, but if this is more of a um, this person is wanting to come back and invest their relationship. Again, some of y'all can be very empathic, can be very psychic because we have the highest priestess card coming out and this is reversed. Even though it's reversed, some of y'all can be very empathic and that could be also something that's causing a lot of mental conflicts because you still haven't tried, you know, learned how to control, you know, that part of, you know, your gifts is what I'm hearing from this too. And this can cause you to be, you know, very sensitive or very over emotional. Um, but again, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, um, they see you as counterparts, even if the king of quips is reversed. So let's say if you are a cancer woman and this is a, you're dealing with, um, you know, your your a twin flame situation. Um, this person knows that they were being very selfish as far as, you know, their feelings. They were not investing in the relationship. Um, I feel that this person right now is very oversensitive. Um, they know that and there could be some drinking that's involved. I feel that there's also jealousy that is being involved. And I feel that this person has been hiding back their emotions. Um, they have possibly been selfish. Um, they know that they, you know, cause delays as far as a brand new beginning in your relationship because we have the Ace of Pentacles being reversed. So again, this is about delays. This is about false starts. This is about, you know, also, you know, the timing being off. So there could have been also some of y'all cancers that dealing with situations as far as money issues as well because this is about bad money um but i do see that there could be an ending to a relationship as far as with a um 
some of y'all are going through a situation right now where you're finding out that either a water sign um, betrayed you um, is what I'm getting from this too. And if this is somebody that's coming back from your past, there has been delays as far as the relationship moving forward. I feel that some somebody is wanting to express their self. Um, there still possibly could be a delay. I feel that there's still going to be delays. Um, this could happen within the next two to three months is what I'm hearing from this. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. This person is wanting to come back. They're wanting to build. Um, this is also letting me know that some of you cancers are right now are more motive, you know, working on their, your finances, you're working on your career, you're working on, you know, trying to build something, regardless if this is a career or a relationship. I feel that some of y'all, if this is somebody that's coming back from the past, this person is now trying to plant their seed. They possibly could have been in hermit mode for a while. They possibly had to do some soul searching. Like I said, I feel that some of y'all are in a twin flame situation and this person was, you know, resting. They, you know, could have been distant from you as far as there could have been no communication and earlier i was saying that i felt that some of y'all were dealing with somebody that you know have bad communication um this is also basically letting me know that some of you your cancers are going to be also you know reaching for that inner healing within yourself so you can find wins wisdom i feel that a lot of y'all have a lot of guidance moving forward through the the end of this year um a lot of y'all are going to be a little bit more of the logical thinker um but i feel if this person is coming back this person has thought you know replayed their actions as far as you know what what was their cause what was what did they do to, in order to stop y'all from having a brand new beginning um i feel that this person is going to come back a little bit more wiser um is what i'm hearing from this too um the fool yeah they don't no longer want to be the fool they're wanting to have a fresh start um again some of y'all right now are dealing with a certain situation as far as if this is you cancers some of y'all cancers i'm, I'm gonna say it because we have a lot of water cards here a lot of y'all are actually being very reckless right now um a lot of y'all are being you know doing certain foolish things and it could be foolish things as far as with your money is what i'm hearing or you know your foundation i feel that somebody is trying to um somebody is sabotaging their self from them having their own beginnings is what i'm hearing from this too um, but when the full card is reversed, this is also about somebody being very closed minded. And again, some of y'all are very unmotivated. And, and if it is you sabotaging yourself um, and stopping yourself from having a brand new beginning of uh, cancers, um, I'm seeing that this is going to be a downfall for you. OK, somebody's going to lose a relationship or lose a, a family behind their recklessness is what I'm hearing from this. OK. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles being reversed. So I feel that there is going to be a breakup. I feel that somebody is going to be finding out that somebody did betray them. I feel that some of y'all are in karmic relationships as far as, you know, this is the, un, uh, you know, as far as um, conflicts, as far as loyalties. Um, this is also, again, letting me know that y'all are dealing with your insecurities. There's going to be a loss in some finances. There could be some lo a loss as well as in a marriage, a relationship is what I'm getting. There could be children that's involved in this relationship as well is what I'm hearing from this too. This could have been something that you invested in long term is what I'm hearing. But I feel that somebody is wanting to move for, uh, move, separate themselves from that situation. We have the five of wands. When the five of wands comes out, this is about, again, um, you know, competition. So again, there could be some of y'all that are finding out that the betrayal is that somebody put you in some type of competition. Um, this person could have possibly already had a family, already was invested in a certain situation. I feel that there's going to be a lot of arguments. Again, this is when the five of wands comes out. This is about arguments. This is about, um, you know, also violence. So there could be a physical altercation that does take place is what I'm hearing from this. But I do feel that some of y'all are dealing with a situation that somebody was just very more lustful than, you know, lusting. Um, they liked the competition. They liked, you know, having, you know, all the different people around. Um, this could possibly be a Virgo. Uh, it, it's, it's, it, it's fell on. I'm looking at the way that these cards are falling. Um, that could be a, a Virgo as, as well, Cancer, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Um, if this is somebody that is a, a water sign, this could be you cancers. I feel that y'all are right now 
wanting to either invest in a relationship, especially if this is something somebody that's coming back from your past. If you are a cancer a woman, you possibly could be looking towards a Virgo. A Virgo could be looking towards you. Um, the reason why I said that is because we have the woman and then the Virgo is looking like they're wanting to go towards this person. So there could be, um, you know, a Virgo that's wanting to go towards you. Um, cancers, this could have been something that was something that you invested in. I feel that there was investment in this relationship. Um, I feel that there could be an ending to a relationship as far as a, a another water sign relationship. So that can be Cancer, um, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Um, we also have the Ace of Pentacles reverse, and then we have the full card reverse, which is Libra, Gemini, as well as Aquarius, okay? So I feel that somebody is no longer wanting to be the fool. I do, if this person is coming back, this person, again, could have put you in a lot of competition. They were not investing in the relationship that they wanted to, um, and they know that there was not no movement, is what I'm hearing from this. Express your love. So again, this is coming out on top of the Queen of Cups, so I feel that somebody is going to be opening up. Let's say if this was you, Cancer, and you were deceiving yourself because you were not opening up, especially if you are Cancer male, <clears throat> you were being a little bit more selfish. You were not opening up. You were not just expressing the, your the the what expressing yourself the way that you want and you needed to. Especially if you love this person, it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel that somebody is going to be expressing themselves. This person could be putting effort as far as planning a date is what I'm hearing. It says you deserve love, so you are lovable. So again, a lot of you cancers are not loving yourself. A lot of you are living in a reckless life, which you are self sabotaging yourself, and they're saying that you need to love yourself you need to basically heal yourself you need to heal yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally if not this is going to cause you to have battles within yourself this is the reason why the five of wands is coming out okay because now you don't only have battles within yourself um within yourself you also have battles with other people that's in your environment because again if you're not loving yourself you're bringing in energy that's not for you so regardless of which situation it's in again this could be overindulging in certain things as far as alcohol drugs or whatever somebody is not loving themselves somebody is not having you know the motivation they're saying you need to do the things that you need to do as far as working and healing yourself it says you are lovable some of y'all were not believing that you deserve love you were not you know good enough to receive love again if you are trying to let go of insecurities as far as past relationships you know certain people that betrayed you i feel that some of y'all do need to take time and y'all need to do that soul searching you need to you know search within and you need to find the guidance i feel that you are going to be they're saying meditate you know take spiritual baths that would help you especially if you you uh, keep in mind cancers you are a water sign and again whenever the moons and the eclipses come that's a part of energy that's going to basically shift your energy to all different types of energy is going to cause you to be ungrounded so again they're saying ground yourself um do the things that you need to do um in order to heal yourself flirt so again i feel if this person is coming back from your past i feel that this person is going to be flirting there could be um when the flirt card comes out there could be some intimacy that's going to be taking place it says extend your light-hearted energy to others again y'all are very caring very nurturing very loving per people big-hearted people they're saying extend it extend your light-hearted energy you know open up it is you know February is the month of love. So a lot of y'all could be having a lot of new suitors that's going to be coming in. That's going to be expressing, you know, themselves as far as their attraction to you. Um, you know, they're seeing that you are lovable. They're seeing that you deserve love as well as they see you, um, as well as they deserve love too. I feel that if this is somebody that is coming in, um, there possibly could be, um, a new suitor that's going to be coming in within two to three months um once you go through your soul searching so again this is your present and your um past this part of this reading right here is where you need to be and how you move forward so again that hermit card was the only card that came out upright and i'm i'm paying attention to that so a lot of y'all do need to take time for yourself you need to you know distance yourself from certain things regardless of if this is a way of thinking a relationship that's karmic and you know that's no longer good for you um, as well as just you basically removing yourself from mental conflicts, emotional conflicts that's draining you, that's keeping you stuck. So once you do that, healing is going to cause you to be somebody new. You're going to have a new beginning, okay? We have trust. So again, this is trust the process. We have a zero here again, which is about new beginnings. Um, this again, if this is somebody that's coming back from your past and this person betrayed you, you're going to have to trust that this person, um, you know, really loves you. They are going to express, you know, if they were the ones that caused delays in your 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 
um, the relationships. I feel that this person is going to open up and express themselves about that. Um, the next card that we have just brief. So we have a four here, which is about stability. Again, gaining your stability back, gaining your confidence back, gaining your inner strength back. So you can basically be, you know, have that passion so you can move forward and, you know, seek all the adventures that's out there for you. They're saying for you to just breathe, stay patient, you know, keep your hope alive, stay calm in certain situations, because I do feel that also there is going to be some verbal altercations that could be, you know, very heated. And they're saying just stay calm, just breathe move remove yourself out of certain situations again if you have to distance yourself from somebody that you know that's always wanting to keep conflict of regardless if this if this is you cancer or cross watchers and y'all want to continue being reckless and you see this and you're dealing with somebody that's continually being reckless and they're not starting be new beginnings and this person is being manipulative and being secretive about what they're doing and all this stuff they're saying remove yourself from that um, don't allow yourself to continue to be in that situation. Um, we have spread your wings, allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to change for the better. A lot of y'all are getting ready to take flight. You're getting ready to make a decision. This is a two. This is about balance. This is about decisions. This is about union. This is also about somebody. Again, if this is somebody that's coming back from the past, they're wanting to balance the relationship. Now they know that they were not, you know, giving you the new beginning. They know they were being secretive. They could have, you know, had made you feel like you were the sidekick, especially if you are a cancer woman or cross watchers if you are a woman dealing with a cancer man this person possibly could have put you in, a, in a, a third party situation this person was being very reckless and they're realizing their actions um but i feel that a lot of y'all are going to be actually taking you know some of y'all uh, the majority of you cancers are going to be taking a hold of your life there are some of you that are going to continue to just be stuck in your ways and they're t they're making me say that for a reason it says bad spirit so as it says a rebirth is uh, assured so again a new beginning trust the process allow yourself to change for the better allow yourself to remove yourself from anything that no longer serves you we have a five here which fives are about conflicts which brings change conflicts that brings change okay i can't say that any clearer clearer we have eagle spirit so it says spirit has your back it's and this is a 23 so again this is about you basically knowing that your ancestors your higher selves um you know the god whoever you see as the universe um whoever you see as the higher power always has your back you possibly could have spiritual animals as far as eagles hawks owls you know falcons uh, crows ravens any of those birds those are very wise birds it's coming on top of just breathe i feel that somebody is fenced to go through a transformation or they have already went through a transformation and now this person is wanting to express themselves and i feel that this person knows that that you know the universe has their back now they know that they're going to be you know led and guided to the right um direction in their life now so they're going to have better choices i feel that somebody's getting ready to have a better choice again this is 23 so this is a five so you could be seeing a lot of five five fives um so we have a dragonfly spirit so it says trust it says truth transcends illusion so again a lot of y'all were possibly living in a lot of illusions again i feel that some of y'all were dealing with somebody that was very manipulative and they were keeping you stuck in certain situations again we have a 23 and we have a 22 here so again trying to move forward and somebody is falling on the cards as far as how i was saying some of you cancers are cross watchers cancers y'all are dealing with somebody that y'all know that's not going to change and how you them going back you know being at a 23 and going back to a 22 that's letting me know that somebody's having a conflict as far as change this is about difficulties so somebody is very experiencing difficulties there could be living in certain illusions there could be alcohol drugs or something that's keeping this person stuck is what i'm hearing from this too um but again i feel that somebody is going to be gaining some type of wisdom they're going to be gaining some type of knowledge um their ancestors your higher self is going to be guiding you and if you you are living in illusions if you're living in a relationship that is no longer good for you that you know that's not you know cause delays into your life that cause you to not have new beginnings cause you not to have new cycles cause you to you know feel like you were you know anything less is a side chick a side man you know a lot of jealousy controlling energy i feel that somebody is going to realize the illusion that they were living in and i feel that this is the reason why it says spread your wings and i feel that this person is going to be setting themselves free from it okay um so let's keep moving forward it says heartbeat so again with this card these are new cards so i'm going to read exactly what this says so this is a 49 
Okay, so it says, your heart is as wide open as a dance club on a Saturday night. Remember that the old expression your parents used, I love you to the moon and back. Wow. <laughs> That's how you feel about everyone. Enjoy this blissful state of love. Sweet love, more is coming too. Wow. I have, this is crazy. Um, I love you to the moon and back. Y'all, I, I had bought my kids um, these necklaces that had... Uh, uh, the moon and the stars on it and it said I love you to the moon and back and I also have that tatted on my back so wow um this is very sweet I feel that again uh, your heartbeat I feel if this is a person that's coming back from your past I feel that this person went through a major uh, transformation possibly their heart chakra was something that was blocked or cancer this could have been your sh heart chakra that could have been blocked I feel that a lot of y'all are finally you know healing your heart chakra you're letting go of any resentment you're letting go of any pain you're allowing yourself to receive as well as to give love so I feel that somebody's basically trusting the process they're allowing their self to grow I feel again just breathe when it coming out I feel that somebody's going through a major transformation um they're finally coming back stable um, they're finally coming back stable. I feel that this person finally found their stability, okay, is what I'm hearing from this x-ray vision. So we have a two here. Um, so let's see what it says here. It says, ignore everything in your life that suggests there is a problem. Ignoring everything in your life that suggests there is a problem. It's time to look past the illusionary veil of petty struggles. As soon as you take your attention off all the uh, appears wrong you will begin to notice all sort of right signs and clues the universe is throwing buckets of clear guidance your way see beyond the surface and the superficial soak in a deeper meaning soak in the ref soak in re uh, refreshing water of truth so again this is coming on top of just breathe which is a blue card which is about you know water your mental stability about your emotions you know i feel that again a lot of y'all were seeing through a certain situation again a lot of y'all have been living in certain illusions certain fantasies um some of y'all are going to be gaining clarity as far as which is going to ca cause you to be a lot more wiser cause you to be a little a lot more you know um think a little bit clearer you're going to gain a lot of clarity a lot of synchronicities i feel that you're going to be seeing again y'all could be seeing a lot of twos and could be seeing a lot of fives so again that's basically your higher self giving you confirmation that you know you are on the right path they're trying to help guide you so i feel that some of y'all are seeing through a certain person especially if they are manipulative or if this is a karmic relationship i feel that y'all are somebody's finally going to cut their self out they're wanting to allow their self to balance so I feel that somebody's getting ready to make a certain decision, okay? Um, we have Wrecking Ball. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. So somebody really was living their life. You know, I don't even have to read this, but I am going to read it. So somebody who's living a reckless life, somebody is not going to change, okay? So this could be some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's a cancer that's not going to change. Or cancers, you could be dealing with somebody that you know that's not going to be changing. So it says Wrecking Ball says, Psst. Just so you know, a wrecking ball is not necessarily a sign of destruction. It's more like a blessing, blessed invitation for a brand new, exciting things to, bloom, to blossom. All you need to do is change your perspective. Let it, let, let's, okay, let's get this um, started. So basically they're saying, um, so again, some of y'all are going to be changing. Some of you are going to be allowing yourself to no longer live in certain illusions. Some of you are, there. my ancestors are telling me to sell, say this, that some of y'all are going to be dealing with somebody that is not going to want to change, okay? They're wanting to live their reckless life. They're wanting to be irresponsible. And this person is just very uh, closed-minded, okay? So somebody is dealing with a fool, okay? And I'm going to leave it that way there. So again, the cards that we have here, we have the full card, which is Libra. Aquarius as well as Gemini we have the highest priestess which is Cancers Pisces as well as Scorpio we have the ace of Pentacles which is uh, um, Capricorn Taurus as well as Virgo we have the hermit card which is Virgo we have the Kings uh, King of Cups again which is Cancers Scorpio and Pisces the Queen of Cups water 
and then the chariot which is you cancers okay so hopefully this reading resonates with you if it does resonate with you like my channel subscribe to my channel i just want to say thank you and you have a great day